Hi, I'm Charles, and it's been a while. It's the middle of April 2023, and I've got a project I've been working on and wanted to share. Um, I'd looked over YouTube quite a bit to find out more about resistor values uh, when splitting the coils on a humbucker. Um, I found that there are several manufacturers that do it, uh, PRS, for instance, with the 2.2 on the bridge, 1.1 on the neck. Um, but I didn't see too much more about um, what happens when you use higher resistor values and what it does. So I made up a test mule guitar, put in a Wilkinson Alnico humbucker rating at 13.6K, and I put in a four-way switch with three different resistors on it and then no resistor so you can hear the humbucker in full volume. Um, I put in a 10K resistor, a 6.8K resistor, and a 2.2K resistor. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to make it so it resists how much of the coil is being grounded. So the 10K resistor is not going to let as much of the coils be grounded, so it's going to be louder. Um, but what else does it do? Well, it won't hum quite as much, and it won't. Um, it might be clearer, uh, maybe more like a P90 or something like that. Um, as we go to the lower rated resistors, the 6.8 and the 2.2, you'll notice the output drops, but you'll notice it get a little more clear, more single coil like. Um, I tried this with um, a potentiometer, like a 10K pot, where it, because it is a variable resistor, you can kind of go through all the ranges up to 10K. But what I did find with that is it's not very usable in that if you find something you like, it's very hard to find that spot again once you've turned that knob. So having set resistor values with the clicky switch really seems to work well. Uh, so in here, we've got that Wilkinson pickup. We've got a 500K linear taper pot. So as I turn down the volume, it's gonna be more of a straight line rather than the sweep like an audio uh, taper will be. Um, and then I set it up so the lines show me that all the way up is all the way up. And then as I turn down, it'll go to the uh, counterclockwise and I am using uh, Marshall Origin 50 with the game pulled up and pretty loud and it's very unlike me because I am going just the amp by itself no um, no pedals no delay reverb anything so here we go bridge pickup full volume <laughs> Linear taper pot, so you can see as I turn it down, it's more balanced as it goes down. It doesn't lose everything by eight. Here we go, 10K resistor. So you may notice I didn't lose a lot of volume. I lost a little bit, but it got much clearer. Go down a little bit more. Here's the 6.8K. And then down to the 2.2. Now you notice with the 2.2K resistor, I can turn down the volume and get it very clean. So notice how bright that is. Now if I had more gain going on, yes, you'd notice quite a bit of hum, but it's not near as much hum as, as if you uh, split the coil completely. Um, and it's not near as much volume drop either. Full volume again, full um, humbucker. 2.2. 6.8. 10K. I'm really 
kind of liking the 10K, uh, giving that extra sparkle, uh, but still pretty hot. I also wrote down relative to the uh, switch um, what the ohm rating on the uh, pickup is. So full up, we got 13.6K. With the 10K resistor put on, it reduces down to 10.81K. With the 6.8K resistor on, it reduces to 10.14K. And then with the 2.2K resistor on, it reduces to 8.48K. With no resistor, you'd expect it to be probably about uh, six and a quarter, okay? Um, so it's still leaving quite a bit of volume even using a 2.2K resistor, which is a pretty small rating. All right, so I'm just gonna work up from the 2.2 setting up again. setting. I like the spank, but it's still got some drive. So what would you do with this? Well, for me, I can put in different resistors and uh, see what might work best for me. In a way, I'm thinking this is kind of a cool idea. If you have a, a good guitar that's a single humbucker model and you want to be able to explore through extra tones rather than just having volume, why not have a three-way, four-way, five-way switch. They're available on Amazon in a few different varieties. I found these four ways. Two of them was around $10. That's uh, 20, 23 pricing. Um, and you could easily make a guitar that does, you know, a lot of extra tones. So why not have a volume tone and, and a four-way selector or three-way selector or five-way selector? So if you do a, a test guitar like this, you may find that you like something like a 6.8 in the bridge and only a 2.2 in the neck something like that on the Les Paul I actually went with a 3.3 in the bridge and a 2.2 in the neck I'm super duper loving it um, it, it made all the difference in the world to me that said um, this is a fun project um, I'm really liking it if it sounds decent I'll put it up if it doesn't we'll make another video